Yo, it's that G, Young God A Man. I'm back with another video. I'm back with Mother Nature, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh. Got the wind blowing. I'm back, man. I'm back, man. And I got a question for y'all, bro. This is a serious question. Like, would the world be a better place if everybody was honest? If everybody was honest and everybody was truthful, would the world be a better place? What you guys think? You know what I'm saying? That, like, that's something to think about, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? No more lies. No more no more manipulation. In my opinion, I think the world would be a better place if everybody was truthful. If everybody was honest and, like, you, had, you, you can't lie. It was impossible to lie. Everybody would have to be honest at all times. The world would be a better place, man. The world would be a better place. You know what I'm saying? Because lies, lies create scars, bro. Lies create scars. You know what I'm saying? And lying keeps people in their comfort zone. Ain't no more lying to yourself like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. You can't do that no more in a truthful world. Lies make people com comfortable, bro. Or if you see your homeboy doing something wrong, he doing something foul, you could be like, yeah, bro. That, yeah, bro. You go hype it up. You go lie. You not gonna speak your mind. You gonna be like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Or your your homeboy like trying to do this. You be like, yeah, bro. That's for all the yes mans out there and shit. No more. No more. You feel me? If a world, if a, if a was in a truthful world, no more lies, man. No more comfort zone. I think the world would be a beautiful place. Cause like, yeah, bit lies create scars. If everybody was honest, no more bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Cut the bullshit. Let's get straight to it. That's how an honest world is. Everything will operate a lot faster. Everything will be a lot quicker, bro. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, if the world, like, if everybody was honest today, like in today's world, <clears throat> like out of nowhere, they just flip the, uh, flip the switch everybody honest bruh there would be a lot of chaos i think there would be a lot of chaos because like a after all the lies after all the built-up lies people can't take the truth like we living in a world where the truth is more scarier than the lie we got so comfortable with the lie when you hear the truth you're like oh my god that's demonic oh my god what are you talking about oh my god he's a terrorist <laughs> They're going to be quick to call you a terrorist, man. Oh, my God. He's this and that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, hmm. We live in a world where the truth is more scarier than the lie. We're not used to the truth no more. Everybody adjusted to the lie. Everybody is living a lie. You clock into your job every day, you live in a lie. You go to school every day, you live in a lie. You going to play sports for your your football team, your basketball team, you live in a lie. That's a fantasy lifestyle. You a police officer or you you're a doctor or you're a teacher, you're living a lie, bro. Cuz that's not the natural way of doing things. That's not the righteous way of doing things. Right? Chis, right? Chis way of doing things. We all got accustomed and used to living a lie, man. Because that's what we've been told. We've been living a lie for 400 years, man. 400 plus years. We've been living a lie. So, you know, we got we got used to it through, through generations. You know? Another lie. Oh, free forms are ugly. Free forms are dirty. Free forms are so unclean. That's a lie, man. That's a lie, man. This is the natural way of doing things. This was the original hairstyle. Before you had a high top fade, before you had your little retwisted locks, before you had your little chrome rooms. Nigga, this was the first hairstyle. This is an ancient hairstyle. We been freeforming. Y'all just got used to the lie. Y'all forgot. My people forgot. You know what I'm saying? That's another lie, bro. We got to start living righteous and back in our truth, bro. 
Live truthfully. Be honest to yourself and the people around you. Don't be a yes man. You know, that's one thing I had to work on because, like, when I was younger, I was low-key a yes man. Because, like, the way I am, I care about people's feelings, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I would lie to you to protect your feelings. That's how I was back then. But that's not a good habit because you, you hurting the other person at the end of the day. Even if you hurting hurting their feelings, you still got to be truthful and be honest so they could fix it. You know what I'm saying? If you're not honest, they never going to know the, uh, there's a problem to begin with. You know what I'm saying? But if you tell them from the get-go, yo, you need to lose some weight. Or yo, you need to change your diet. You know what I'm saying? They like, you know what? You right. You right. Thanks for being honest with me. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being like, instead of being like, oh yeah, I like big girls. Oh yeah, they fine. <laughs> yeah, all right. Shit, if that's what you like, that's what you like. You love. Be honest, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be honest, dog. If you if your girl getting a little big, be like, hey, babe, like, babe, you need to tighten up, bro. You need to cut loose on the cheese. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> cut loose on the sugar a little bit, babe. You got to get your body back. You know what I'm saying? Tight shit. Be honest with your spouse. Be honest with the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. You know what I'm saying? You 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 speak you being truthful and you're not holding nothing back. When you hold stuff back, you feel it in your chest. You feel heavy. When you hold a lot of shit in, you feel heavy, bro. You know, especially us black men cuz we don't like talking about our issues. We just hold it in. You got to stop doing that, bro. That's that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of weight on your shoulders, unnecessary weight that you don't want. So be truthful with yourself and the people around you, especially with yourself. If you know you fucking up in life, you know you messing up, be honest with yourself, man. Don't be like, oh, it's all good. Nobody looking type shit. Nah, fix it. You doing something that's unrighteous and you know it in your heart because you could feel it in your heart when you when you fucked up, boy. You got to fix it, bro. Don't, don't let it... Don't dig the hole too deep. You digging too deep, you can't get out that shit. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> shit. Real talk, man. But yeah, if the world was a honest place today, there would be chaos, man. Because a lot of people can't take the truth. There would be war over the truth. Over people being honest, there would be war about that shit. In, 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 in today's time, there would be war about that shit. Because people can't take the truth. We so used to the lie. To the lie. If I said the sun gonna be 999 degrees, you won't believe me. You will think it's a lie. You know what I mean? You, you won't accept the truth, man. Even if it kills you, you will... Some people will die before they accept the truth. <laughs> Some people will die a doctor and die a lawyer and die a teacher before they accept the truth. Nigga, what? I'm not living no lie. Fuck a nine to five. Fuck a uh, clock in, clock out, kissing ass, paycheck. Fuck that, man. I'm living in my truth. This is my truth. You know what I mean? This is my truth. Nature. That's my truth. I don't know what's your truth, but it's my truth. I'm an aboriginal. This, this is where I came from. I came from nature. I'm one with nature, and nature's one with I. I'm not no human. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, if you know, you know, man. If you know, you know. My people know. But yeah, dog. If everybody was honest, the world would be a beautiful place. No more bullshit. Police was like, yeah, bro, we don't like black people. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't like y'all. Like, we don't like y'all, but we go be in y'all neighborhoods, though. If they, if, they, if they said that, nigga, what? There will be war about that. We kicking their ass out. <laughs> Like, shit like that, bro. Think of it like that in that perspective. You know what I'm saying? Or if a lawyer was like, I know you're innocent, but I'm still going to give you 20 years just because you was around it. Tight shit. Instead of being like, oh, uh, you know, big ass words they like to use and shit. You know, uh, court language and shit. Yeah, man. Think of it like that, man. That's a little video for y'all. Peace to the people. You know what I'm saying? One love. 
Not one love, but whole love. Shout out to Kalai. He taught me that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I love y'all. See y'all in the next. Peace.